He hasn't solved any social problems, not education, not crime, not homelessness, not cost of living. Gas prices are yeah. crazy. He hasn't done any of that. So working yeah. class Hispanic voters are going to make or break him. How do you think they're going to go? I think they're going to go a long way toward breaking him. All the polls show, even the polls you talked about, the fake polls coming out of the Los Angeles Times and elsewhere, uh, saying that the gap is closing and Newsom's in good shape. Even those polls, bills say that Latinos lead the pack in terms of all the groups out there and wanting to get rid of Gavin Newsom. Nobody can, no matter how hard you spin it, you can't do away with the fact uh, that Latinos don't like Newsom. He's never connected with them. He's never connected with them. And I think that to answer your question, one of the reasons he's gotten this far, despite having not solved any social problems, this is a deep blue state where you don't need a single Republican vote to pass anything. And he takes full advantage of that. He's gotten really lazy and complacent and entitled. And that's the wrong place to be. All right. So Hispanics, in your opinion, Ruben, and you obviously live among them in San Diego yep. and tons of them there, they're more likely to throw Newsom out. But then Larry Elder would probably be governor, and he's a very, very right wing guy. Will that have any effect in the vote? Yeah. Well, see, I've known Larry for 27 years. He and I used to host radio shows uh, for KBC together many years ago. I know him to be a really kind of good guy. I, I like him. Uh, I disagree with him on many issues, but he doesn't fit the caricature that the liberal media in California is trying so hard to draw of him. Uh, so I think he will probably do probably better than expected with Latinos because people expect him not to do very well at all. He'll do better than that. Uh, but the main problem for Newsom is he can't, at this late date, connect with this constituency. They might just stay home, Bill. That's really the issue. They don't have to defect to Elder. They don't have to vote Republican. No, to they, can just vote. they can just check one. They don't have to check the second box they, about who you right. want. They can go fishing, they can go fishing and not even, not even go vote uh, because he hasn't connected with them. Right. So that's the apathy now has become the big question. Okay. So tomorrow, uh, Vice President Harris goes to San Francisco. This looks a waste of time to me. San Francisco is Newsom's base. He used to be the mayor there. Um, you know, who's going to come out to see Harris say Newsom's great? Right. I don't think this changes any minds, does it? It does not. You know, California is really 12 states in one by geography. I live in the San Diego area, but I was born and raised in Central California, which is very conservative, conservative farmland. There are many conservative Mexican-Americans out there who vote Democrat, but they're conservative Democrat. They will vote for the right Republican, and they have shown that. And that never gets covered, Bill. That's never covered by the liberal media. They pretend that doesn't exist, you know? But uh, that kind of constituency, Kamala Harris and, and Gavin Newsom just don't speak to. They know, don't know those people. Yeah, I don't see this. People. But then, then uh, Biden goes early next week. So this is, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> no. Biden goes down and, you know, uh, to speak to uh, Californians to keep Newsom in there. But Biden is so shaky at this point. He, he could say anything. I mean, it, they got to be nervous just about Biden showing up and saying anything, correct? Yeah. Here's what they're doing wrong, Bill. They're targeting people who are already going to vote for Newsom. When you bring Harris and Biden out, you're speaking to the converted, the folks who are already in your camp. You need to go after the folks who are wavering, the folks who, like in my case, I voted for Gavin Newsom in 2018. I didn't want anything to do with the Republican Party in California in 2018. They've dug themselves into a big grave on immigration. But at the same time, he lost me. He lost me in those you know, in almost three years. They should be speaking to people like me saying, how do we get you back? No, they're speaking to the, the diehard dark blue voters they already have. 